Hi, VH Bio parents. This is Mr. Wolf, and thanks for watching this open house video cast. I'm excited to meet you at open house this year, but unfortunately, I get limited time to talk to you. So I thought I'd make this video cast to give you a little more information about me and the classes I teach at Vernon Hills High School. The first thing I'd like to show you is my website. You can get there by going to www.mrwolfscience.org. This website has been shared with your students, but it also holds a lot of information that might be useful to you as well. On this page, you can see my contact information where you can email me at chris.wolf at d128.org, or you can call and leave a voicemail at 847-932-2644. You can also follow me on social media, on Twitter, or my Instagram where I post pictures of what's going on in our classroom, or you can check out my YouTube page or my blog that I keep. This year, I teach both biology and biology honors, so I'll be showing you both pages. To get to the biology and biology honors page, you have to click on menu, and then let's go to biology first. On this page, you'll see a lot of resources that I have for your students, but I also have for you as well. This link is a daily objective. Basically, it goes to a Google slide presentation about what we're covering that day in class. I also have a folder for assignments, notes and answer keys, and we'll talk more about test retakes later. This link takes you to the course expectations for biology, the course content, and any video cast that I make for class. I also have a link for the online textbook that your students can use. You also might want to look at the Google Calendar that I keep for class. On this calendar, I have biology assignments and test dates in green and Google Classroom due dates in blue. You can add these calendars to your own personal Google Calendar by clicking on this little plus icon in the bottom, and these two calendars will be added to your Google Calendar as well. Let me take you over to the Biology Honors webpage. This webpage looks very similar to biology, where I have my daily objectives, assignments, notes, and answer keys. The Honors Online Textbook also comes with a program called Mastering Biology, which is an online learning tool that the students get to use. A lot of homework is assigned through Mastering Biology, so you might want to take a look at this next time your student is doing some homework. I also have the classroom expectations for honors, course content, video casts, and again, test retakes as well, and a Google Calendar that you can add to your personal calendar if you'd like. Let's take a look at the classroom expectations. The expectations for both biology and biology honors are pretty similar, so I'll go over the honors page with you. First, I started the school year by talking about why are your students here. At Vernon Hills, our science program is really dedicated to teaching kids that science is a verb, not just content that we learn. And so why the students are here are to ask questions, to investigate, to analyze, and to explain, and hopefully learn some biology along the way. I've also provided you with a course summary, which you can read if you'd like. And then the four keys to success in our class. I think these are very important to go over. First, I've talked a lot with your students about respect and having a good attitude in class. Respect is a huge thing for me in all the classes I teach and the way I live my life. I've also shared with them this document titled Work Harder, Not Smarter, and it comes from information from a book I read this summer called Make It Stick. It's basically to help kids manage their learning process. And so going over this with your child might be helpful, and I'll be touching on this with students throughout the school year. But this learning management document can come in really handy when kids are struggling in class. I also stress in our class that I want my students to become independent thinkers. I have a policy called three before me, where before they can consult me with a question, they must first consult their brain, think about it. They must consult their book or their Chromebook, try to look it up, and then consult their buddies. Talk, about, talk to their lab groups, talk to their friends, see if they know the answer. After these three things, if they can't find the answer, then they consult me. I really want students to become independent thinkers and not ask me right away, but try to figure out the answer for themselves first. And the last key to success in my class is just keep your dear teacher happy. And this is basically by following the first three things on this list. I'll let you take a look at the assignments on your own, but I would like to point out that all digital work that we'll be doing this year will be done through Google Classroom. Now, Google Classroom is something only your students can access unless you log in with their user information. So if I click on this class, this is what I see as a teacher, but your students see something very similar as well. Basically, all the digital work that your students will do this year will be assigned and turned in through Google Classroom. Each assignment has its own link where I link several documents or websites or other things that your students will be doing. I also use Google Classroom to make announcements to the class as well. Unfortunately, you really can't see into our Google Classroom unless you log in as your child, but there is a way for you to get summaries of how your student is doing. If you'd like to receive summaries, I can invite you as a guardian. All I need is your email address, and you'll receive a weekly summary on how your student is doing with their assignments in Google Classroom. If you'd like to be invited as a guardian, check out the link below this video to sign up. Let me take you back to our expectations. Scrolling down to evaluation, I'd like to talk about my grading policies. First of all, I follow the online student handbook grading scale, which basically goes 90, 80, 70, 60 for an A, B, C, or D. I do weight my grades in class, giving priority to assessments. Unit tests and big quizzes are worth 50% of your child's grade. Labs and projects, which are also very important, are worth 45%, and homework and in-class assignments are worth the other five. 
I also have a category called check-ins, which I consider small quizzes. These are formative assessments that just give me and your child an understanding of where they're at currently in their understanding of the material. I don't use these to calculate their grades, but they will be published to PowerSchool so you have an understanding of how your student is doing before the big assessment. I feel it's very important to assess students often, but also keep their stress level low by not having all of these assessments worth a grade. If you have any questions about my grading policies, feel free to contact me. I also encourage you to keep track of your child's progress by using PowerSchool. You can find a link to PowerSchool right here. You should have gotten your login information when you registered for classes here at Vernon Hills. Another thing I'd like to point out is assessment retakes. Students receiving D or Fs at any part of an assessment will be expected to retake that part of the assessment to show mastery of the major learning objectives. I feel it's really important that all students are given an opportunity to master learning objectives in my class. All students may use the opportunity to retake any or all parts of unit assessments. Assessments retakes should occur approximately one week after the test is handed back in class and will be retaken during an agreed time with me. Even though I do strongly encourage retakes to occur one week after we take the assessment, I do allow retakes at any time throughout the school year until we get close to the final exam. I'll be talking to, I'll be talking to the students more about this a little bit later in the school year. One thing I feel very strongly about retakes is that students will be required to show that they have utilized multiple methods of studying in order to retake an assessment. I do expect students to do extra studying and show me that they've done extra study trying to master the material before they're allowed to retake the assessment. And the one question that always does come up, well, how is the assessment graded? Retakes are replacement grades. The rest of this document talks about my Twitter account, how I use Class Remind, how absences are handled, and any outside help that I can offer. I do also lay out a Chromebook policy I have in class because we do use Chromebooks quite often in class, so I do expect students to have their Chromebooks ready and charged every day, but we do have a classroom set of Chromebooks just in case they forget theirs. And then finally, the bottom shows some classroom supplies that are needed for class. All right, let's head back to my website. Now I want to take you to our course content. Now I'm not going to go over the course content with you line by line because it does vary between biology honors and biology, but I would like to point out that it's more important that you look at the concepts that we are covering than the major topics. We also put a general time frame for how long we'll spend on each unit, and usually each unit is followed by a major assessment. But these time frames are tentative based on how we're moving along and throughout the school year. The last place I'd like to take you is my About page. I've been teaching at Vernon Hills High School for 12 years now. I've taught a variety of subjects, but biology really is my passion. I also spent a year at Lakes High School and Carl Sandberg High School in Orland Park. I consider myself very involved at Vernon Hills High School where I'm assistant girls cross country coach for the past 12 years. I've also been a volleyball coach and a track coach and also a technology integration coach to our teachers. I am a Google certified level two educator, a Nearpod certified educator, and a part of the Nearpod pioneer program where I go out to other schools and train other teachers on how to use one of my favorite learning platforms called Nearpod. Your students may have talked about Nearpod at home a couple times already, at least I hope they have. My bachelor's degree is from the University of Illinois in Champaign with my major in the teaching of biology and a minor in secondary education. I also have a master's degree from Concordia University of Chicago in curriculum and instruction. I've also presented at several professional conferences, including National Science Teachers Association on innovative new instructional technologies to assess and engage, and the Illinois Computing Educators Conference on how to use Nearpod in the classroom. Finally, we talk about my family. I am the proud father of two beautiful girls, Kylie and Tessa, and the husband of my wonderful wife, who is a first grade teacher at Butterfield Elementary School. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching this video cast, and I hope you've enjoyed learning more about me and the classes I teach here at Vernon Hills High School. I would also like to point out this is something your students experience in class. Oftentimes, they'll have video lessons to watch at home to come ready, prepared for class discussion the next day. Again, I'm really looking forward to seeing you at Open House. Thanks for watching.